The Indian Museum, Kolkata, is the oldest and one of the most prestigious museums of India. Now, during the coronavirus pandemic, when we are all confined to our homes, the Indian Museum brings to us stories of world culture to keep us educated and entertained within our homes. India has seen some of the highest developments of science and technology since very early times. 6,000 years ago, the first well-planned cities of the world were here. The cities of the Indus Valley period are perfectly laid out, with avenues heading from north to south and streets dissecting them at right angles. They had an excellent drainage system back there in 4000 BC. The feats of Indian engineering in ancient and medieval times are almost unbelievable. One of the scores of examples is the magnificent Kailash Natha temple at Ellora. In the 8th century, this entire hillside was transformed into a great temple with structures carved both inside and out. The scale is breathtaking. From the courtyard, the temple rises over 100 feet. This involved the cutting away of over 2 million tons of rock. Indian dance traditions are fully recognized all over the world to be sublime. The seemingly miraculous achievements of Indian civilization consistently over the centuries have been because of a great sense of dedication. This dedication has come from a deep study of the science of life. Philosophy has been a way of life of the Indian people. A yogic posture is seen in a 5,000 years old seal of Indus Valley times. What is remarkable is that the most sophisticated ideas of Indian philosophy have been a heritage of the people. Even the most common people have been deeply aware of the philosophic truths. Today, even in the fast changing and commercializing world, a few pockets of Indian thought and tradition survive. The bowels of Bengal are among these. We are in the Birbhum district, about 200 kilometers northwest of the city of Kolkata. Many of the villages here have families of Baul singers. Through them, an age-old tradition has been handed down through the centuries.
the philosophy that they have matches quite well with the kind of philosophy that in many songs Tagore often had advocated. In 2005, UNESCO included Baul singing in their list of the world's masterpieces of oral and intangible heritage. The word baul probably comes from the Sanskrit vyakul, meaning impatiently eager. Some consider them to be insane, in a divinely inspired way. Indeed, they are far from the sanity of the materialistic and mundane world. They're ecstatically impatient to lose themselves, to lose their own identities, to see themselves as a part of the greater one, that one which is also within. Bowels have a philosophy focused on the individual himself. It is a personal, spiritual quest they follow. They believe that if there is any God, it is that which is within us. In particular, they have uh, been making a connection between the self and the soul of the person with the supreme self. Dehotatto is a very important philosophy of Baul. They believe that human body is the ultimate thing. So it's not God, it's not Allah, it's basically human body. Tagore was deeply impressed. I don't know if he was influenced, but then he was deeply impressed about the whole philosophy of Baul's. Lalan Faki died at the age of 117 when Tagore was only 24. Uh, there is no document suggesting that Tagore actually met Lalan Fakir. But Fakirs believe that they met. <laughs> 
প্রাণে প্রাণের মানুষ আছে প্রাণে তাই হেরে তাই সকল খানে Many songs of Rabindranath Tagore are deeply reminiscent of the themes of the bowels. The Bowls have a very simple way of looking at life. The images that they use in their song are very simple images, something which touches upon the everyday life of people around this place. Boli ai gaadi te chorte gele bhaktir ticket thaka chai Krishna premer rel re gaadi chori bi ke re jaye Char kila se gaadi sara dharmo ortho ka mukho dara Char kila se gaadi sara dharmo ortho ka mukho dara যে গাড়ির প্যাসেঞ্জার যারা সেই গাড়ি চড়ে তারাই কৃষ্ণ প্রেম রেলের গাড়ি চড়বি কেরে যায়িকটিস ক্রিয়েট দ্যাট কাইন্ড অফ সিঙ্গিং ইফ ইউ থিঙ্ক নো ওয়ের ইন দ্য ওয়ার্ল্ড উইল ইউ ফাইন্ড এ সিঙ্গল পার্সন singing playing ikthara on one hand and dancing uh, and playing the dugi on the other hand at the same time nowhere in the world it's very difficult to get a a, a tradition of song which holds the stone for such a long time while dancing and maybe in, uh, you know you will get it in indian classical music but they don't move they sit and sing here they you know run around and o koto lokkho janam ঘুরে ঘুরে ও কত লক্ষ জনম ঘুরে ঘুরে সাধের মানব জনম পেয়ে ছোড়ে এ জনম চলে গেলে ও ভোলা মন এ জনম চলে গেলে ও পাগল মন ও ফিরে আর তো পাবে না না গো না 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 যেতে দেব না আমি হিদ মাজারে ভুবন মোহন মনমনি জনার মনোহরা হয়ে রাধার প্রেমে মাতয়ারা ও হয়ে রাধার প্রেমে মাতয়ারা ও আমি থাকবো মগ না 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 গো না যেতে দেব না ও আমি এনিবডি হু ভিজিটস দিস দিস সাইড অফ বেঙ্গল উড ফাইন্ড देम ইন ট্রেন রেলওয়ে স্টেশনস প্ল্যাটফর্মস অন দ্য রোড ইন ভিলেজ কর্নারস almost everywhere kagote sare sokol kam holo posto katar kha it is a carrying forward of the tradition in modern times whereas earlier people used to gather in the villages to listen to the bowls today here he is in the crowded railway trains and people are entertained by him dui rang ete hocche lila bujhe namon duyer khela বলি ত্রিগুণে তে তিরি খানা বলি ত্রিগুণে তে তিরি খানা চৌক হয় চার ধামেতে এসে চুব সে চুব হবে তাস খেলিতে পঞ্চভূতের পঞ্জা খানা আই থিঙ্ক ইউ ক্যান রিলেট দিস টু মেনি আদার থিংস টু উপনিষদ টু গীতা বাট 
I don't know if there is any point doing it because this is a community knowledge. It is, you will hardly get it, you know, everybody talks about Lalwan and he was probably the only exception to the whole thing, but otherwise nobody owns anything here. Lalun Fakir was born in 1774 in a small village in the district of Kushtia, which is now in Bangladesh. His family lived in extreme poverty and he had no formal education. Lalun became one of the greatest mystic singers of the Indian subcontinent. He composed thousands of songs these continue till today as the greatest inspiration for the Bauls and Fakirs of Bengal. No one knew Lalun Fakir's real name, date or place of birth, or the names or religious affiliations of his parents. It was something like negating the scripture or negating the rule from above. So therefore, it has also a kind of a community which lives, which is a kind of a self-regulated community. It's not regulated or ruled by any external force. Now, I can sing a Baal song for you, but then that's not a Baal song really, because their sound comes from some particular point from the body. And that's the kind of practice they do. This is a very, very, I think I'm told that these are very old uh, kind of Indian uh, practices and it does not come from the sky it doesn't fall from the sky you have to kind of you need an effort to get that and that itself I think becomes a part of uh, the sadhana part of the whole life part of your whole being many times many researchers uh, ask many people ask whether Baul's son is becoming a Baul or not Fakir's son is becoming a Fakir or not historically that has never happened it is always the villager who is interested in this has come. We are in the home of the Fakir, Shashti Das Baul. Isn't it quite wonderful that villagers living in such remote places in this country are so deeply versed in philosophy? In fact, that is one of the amazing things about India. Philosophy was never kept as a subject to be studied at universities. It was always something which was used in daily life. It was practiced in daily life by the people, by the common people, by everybody. As a matter of fact, some of the most important uh, epics and scriptures of uh, Indic philosophy were written by the most common people. The concept of the illusory nature of the material world Maya or Mithya has been known to all Indians since times immemorial. They have sought different ways, different paths to escape from this web of the illusion of life and to attain knowledge. आप गा रहे थे आकार निराकार ब्रह्मो इसका मतलब बताइए भवे मानुष गुरु निष्ठा जात सर्व साधन सिद्धिता आपने एक रूप आपने जखन एक कास्टा शिक्ति के चिंता कोन आपने के गुरु भूत हुए थे तो गुरु टके मानुष मानुष एक ब्रह्मो दित्यो नास्ति आकार तो ये मानुष रूपी आकार मानुष रूपी आकार ये मानुष के हाथ ये मानुष के बाजार मानुष के खाई मानुष के पुष्ट अमी मोरे के ले मानुष के निया जावे अम्मा के निया स्टो मानुष के this is the treasured heritage of the Indian people. A vision of life 
which looks always towards the eternal. A vision which recognizes material aims and objects as only ephemeral things, a passing reality. The search is always for that which is beyond, that which can only be found within. If you see the Baul Fakir's music, all they talk about the brotherhood and love and how to overcome the conflict and get into the brotherhood. It is not only important today, I think 50 to 100 years later, maybe Lalan Fakir's songs will be a compulsory reading for all the citizens in the world. Kappa means a, a divine man. Just know what I was saying, the divine man, that person, he is called Kappa. So in Shadhana, in Shadhana, when he has seen something extreme, extreme, and the other people who never seen, just leave them. That person who doing his shadhana, when that person have seen that extreme point, he, that time you can say that uh, he is that person who is the happiest person in this world. They sing about love. They sing about love. Most of their songs are to make you know the way how to reach that situation of pure love. You know the separation of Krishna and Radha and the songs has been derived from that situation only. There is one uh, great song because Radha thought that she is unable to make Krishna understand her pain, what she is suffering. So she is singing, Poro Janome Hoyo Radha, my Lord, be Radha in your next life. Then you can understand what I have gone through with this eternal love which you have given to me. Baul is both like if you cannot be Radha, you cannot attain the qualities of Krishna. True knowledge in Indian thought is always experienced knowledge. Knowledge which is known, knowledge which is felt deep inside, knowledge which transforms one's life. That is knowledge, not that which is just read from books. I saw Bauls who are very, very, uh, you know, who look for money, who look for, who is greedy and all this. And yet when he's singing, I know he's, you know, light years away from me and completely different person. Indian thinkers, these Bauls included, always seek ways to be carried away to lose the sense of the self, to be carried away in ecstasy, and therefore to discover the truth. Charge on a 